there is an urgent call for civilians to get out of the way of the latest fighting in the Donbass. Ukrainian forces taking up defensive positions, getting ready for a new Russian onslaught. We will bite the Russians with their own tank. I think it would take an extraordinary change in the conditions on the ground for the Ukrainians to be able to take back any significant amount of the Donbass. We are now hearing from Moscow that they have taken control of Sichansk. What are the Sichansk doesn't exist anymore. Ukraine's president says he pulled his troops from the last remaining stronghold in order to save lives. We care about the lives of our soldiers. We can rebuild the walls. We will win back the territory, but people must be taken care of, above all. This, in effect, now secures all of Luhansk for the Russians. It's a major Russian objective here from a political military perspective. Their next target is to complete the occupation of Donetsk. That's the southern part of the Donbass region. The governor of Donetsk says 350,000 people need to flee the region as soon as they can. The Russian bombardment of cities and towns in the area is intensifying. I think for sure we're into a war of attrition into the fall, and I think November is an interesting point to see what happens around the G20. Canada became the first country to ratify the accession protocols of Finland and Sweden to join NATO. Now, if allies' parliaments do ratify the deal, it would mark a significant shift, and analysts say it could reduce chances of Russian attacks across land, sea, and air. With 32 nations around the table, we will be even stronger, and our people will be even safer.